Welcome to Safety Harbor. Today, we're going to take you on a day trip to this hidden gem on Tampa Bay and show you why you should visit this charming little Florida town. The downtown has a delicious coffee shop and multiple restaurants to choose from, along with an art center, a waterfront park and nature trail, and a brewery. We're also going to take you to a few spots just outside of the downtown area. Make sure to watch until the end to see why it's easy to fall in love with this quaint waterfront town. So the day is already off to a great start. We just got to downtown Safety Harbor and there is an abundance of parking and it's free, which is something we definitely were not able to find out on the beaches over the last few weekends. We would recommend exploring the Safety Harbor downtown area by foot and starting the day off at Cafe Vino Tinto. The cafe offers farm to cup coffee sourced from their own farm in Costa Rica. They also serve breakfast, pastries, and alcohol. Their open air patio offers natural shade from the hot Florida sun. So we got a cafe con leche and a Samoa latte. From talking to the staff, it sounds like they make all of their syrups in house. So I'm really excited to try them. Think. It's really good. It's not like too sweet. I think I can more taste the chocolate and the caramel, but it's really good. What do you think of the cafe con leche? It's delicious. Just a little bit sweet. Seems to have some cinnamon in it, which I actually like. And it was one of the cheapest items on the menu, so I like that as well. If you need any more convincing to visit Cafe Vino Tinto, we would recommend checking out their Instagram which is full of delicious looking treats. Lately, we've been exploring quite a bit around this area. So we started at St. Pete and then we moved to Madeira and then we went back down to Treasure Island and most recently we were up in Clearwater up here. But today we're not out on the beach. We are on the bay. Safety Harbor. After coffee, there's plenty more to explore in the Safety Harbor downtown area. If you continue down Main Street and veer to the right, you'll head toward the Safety Harbor Pier. So we made it to the end of the downtown Safety Harbor Pier and it's really windy out here as you can probably tell by the kiteboarders behind me. And there also appears to be a paddleboard and kayak race going on as you can see. And they're not really moving all that fast because they're going into a really strong headwind right now. I think here's the front runner right there. Oh, it's a windy day to be out there. So this wind out here today has been a great opportunity to test out our new camera. We just got a Sony ZX-1. It's supposed to have great noise canceling technology and wind reduction. So we'll be finding out soon enough if it lives up to the hype. Oh, here they all come back, make some noise as they return. It's windy out there, they work hard. Jamie, are you wishing we were out on our paddle boards today? No. <laughs> that is a strong win. In order to build up an appetite for lunch, you can walk along the Safety Harbor Waterfront Park or head back to Main Street to check out Baranoff Park. The 
This is the oldest living live oak in Pinellas County. That's what it says. Oh, that's so cool. 500 years old, wow. This is huge. What do you, how wide do you think it is, the trunk? 10 feet? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Maybe more? But the branches even extend beyond this little fence. Oh, how cool is this? I would want to preserve this too. Wow. So we're walking down Main Street in Safety Harbor and we did notice there's a place called the Tiki Tavern across the street. But after all the tiki bars we went to on our beach bar crawl in Clearwater last weekend, I think we're gonna skip this one. When you're ready for lunch, there are plenty of local restaurants to choose from. We ended up at the Sandwich on Main. It serves sandwiches, salads, and soups, along with craft beer, wine, and craft sodas. They have a great drink menu here with a lot of sodas and local beers. These sandwiches look amazing. Skylar's ordering You Had Me at Bacon with buffalo chicken breast, bacon jam, bacon, guacamole, and cheddar on Portuguese bread. And I'm going to have the Tasty Tom with turkey breast, brie, sour cherry preserve on Portuguese bread. We're both doing a half and half combo with a salad. So we wanted to check in really quick. We've been in downtown Safety Harbor for a few hours now. And if you've been following our channel at all, you'll know we spent the last several weekends out on the beach. And honestly, we're starting to get a little beached out, so this has been a great change of pace. I agree. This place is really charming. And if you've been out on the beach a couple days, maybe you've gotten a little bit sunburned, this is a great getaway. Yeah, it's only about 10 miles straight east of Clearwater Beach where we made our last video, but it's a 100% change of vibe and we're really enjoying it. So if you want to see more of what Safety Harbor has to offer, then keep watching. Downtown Safety Harbor is full of local businesses to stop by and do some shopping after lunch. So many businesses here have preserved like the old houses. It's really cool. A historical site known as the Gingerbread House, and you can actually rent this to stay in it, which is pretty neat. The Safety Harbor Art and Music Center is also located downtown. It's a nonprofit organization that promotes the fine arts, visual arts, and performing arts. The mirror wall mosaic was massive, and pictures and videos can't do it justice, so we would recommend checking it out in person if you have the opportunity. They even have a little bar in their backyard. Behind the mirror mosaic is a large creative space. As you walk around, you can feel the creative energy. If you enjoy the Art Center, we would recommend planning to visit Whimsyland. We're also going to show you that a little later, but first, we're going to check out a brewery downtown. Troubled Waters Brewing is only a few blocks from the Art Center. Troubled Waters has been brewing beer in Safety Harbor for around three years. It's a unique brewery that takes chances and explores creative flavors.
During our visit, we tried a mango habanero pale ale, a Sour Patch Kids Sour, a Belgian strong ale aged in wine barrels, and a raspberry sour. My favorite was the Sour Patch Kids Sour that actually tasted like Sour Patch Kids. Skylar's favorite was the Mango Habanero Pale Ale. If you need some exercise after having lunch and beer, we would recommend spending some time at the Waterfront Park. The park is on 13 acres of waterfront property downtown. So we're not sure if you can see it, but downtown Tampa is just on the other side of the bay. Right over there. So this waterfront park is probably only a few blocks north of the main street along the bay. Pretty cool Safety Harbor has a park like this so close to downtown. This is really peaceful. Mm. I <laughs> wonder what that is. Some kind of bird. And the different kinds of birds that like to hang out around here. So that is where we were earlier today, on the pier. The wind has died down a little bit, I'd say. When you're ready to venture outside of downtown, we would recommend checking out Whimsyland. We started out walking around the guest house known as Casa Loco. It's Mexican themed and available to rent. The main house is located across the street. Whimsyland has been a work in progress for over 20 years. It's also known as the bowling ball house. As you can see, the pathways are lined with painted bowling balls. The owners of Whimsy Land have started an art center. That's where we visited earlier today downtown. And they create these really cool art sculptures. We'll make sure to leave links to Whimsy Land and the art center in the description below. And if you visit and see a light streamer or one of the aluminum wire things that you like, they are all for sale. So you can purchase them by putting the funds here. There is a donation box, or you can also send money via PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App. And it does go to the Safety Harbor Art and Music Center. When you're done enjoying the art at Whimsyland, we would recommend checking out one more brewery in Safety Harbor. But first, we stop by Alligator Lake with hopes of seeing an alligator. 
And I guess there are alligators in here. Not sure if we'll see one today, but wanted to come and check it out. So far we haven't spotted any. The water's really calm. From the boat ramp we didn't see any alligators, but there is another area that gets kind of close to the lake here. We'll check it out. Skylar found the path around the fence, so I'm gonna go join him. Skylar's over on the other side. While we didn't end up seeing an alligator on this visit, Skylar was very excited to see some sandhill cranes. There's some cranes over there and they look really tall. Skylar's over there trying to make some bird friends like usual. Crooked Thumb Brewery is only about four blocks from Main Street and Safety Harbor. It's a large, open-air brewery with space for live music. If you're interested in checking out more Tampa Bay Area breweries, we'll be sure to leave links to our other brewery videos in the description below. Alright, bad news guys. We are out of beer and our waiter is completely ignoring us. I think this cat might know that I really love black cats. I wonder if its name is Strawberry. While the brewery did have a food truck out front, we were in the mood for Mexican food and made our way back downtown to the screaming jalapeno. They have an excellent hot sauce selection, along with a full bar and local beers on tap. We ordered the Nacho Mama and straight out of the harbor. We're walking back to the car and even this little pavilion area is all lit up. This town is even cuter at night. All right, we did want to come back and check out this 300 to 500 year old tree at night. Thanks so much for coming along with us to explore Safety Harbor. We hope you enjoyed the day as much as we did. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if you would want to visit Safety Harbor. For more Tampa Bay area and Florida content, Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. Thanks for watching! So tomorrow is Easter. It doesn't look like the Easter Bunny tried too hard to hide these eggs. <laughs> they wanted to go to the bar. They're pretty, pretty visible. Yeah. <laughs>